What we're looking at here is the 2023 Dodge Hornet. Uh, another name that's going to turn into an EV or an electric vehicle. I remember the Hornets of the of the past. They, these were muscle cars. This is what a muscle car is now. Now, no muscle. Plug it in. Anyhow, so <clears throat> this is the specs, basically. The 2023 Dodge Hornet is a new subcompact SUV with performance focused plug-in hybrid model. Gas only Hornet that starts around 30 grand. And it's offered with similar features and options, okay? With Dodge about to enter a new electrified performance era the Hornet PHEV hits dealerships next spring, starting around 40 grand. The Hornet is a subcompact SUV that shares a platform with other parts and an Alfa Romeo. So basically, it's a shit box, okay, that they're force feeding us with. So get your shit sandwich and, and everything else. The Hornet GT. Okay, that's the base level. And then the next one is the Hornet R slash T, which is supposed to be the r racing track focused car. Okay, so get ready for this one. So the GT turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four makes about 268 horse. The engine pairs with a nine speed automatic transmission. Dodge estimates the GT will go zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds on its way to a top speed of 140. The Hornet RT is the plug-in hybrid. It combines a turbocharged 1.3 liter inline four, six speed automatic transmission with 121 horsepower electric motor mounted on the rear axle. The total output is 288 horsepower and uh, 383 pound-feet of torque. It also features a power stop function that delivers an extra 25 horsepower and is instant torque for 15 seconds of burst. Uh, while its top speed is limited to 128 miles, RT's lithium ion battery pack has a 12.0 kilowatt usable capacity and with its 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger, Dodge estimates a level 2 connection can refill the battery in about two and a half hours. While we're told it'll have an electric only drive range around 30 miles. So the thing has a quick boost of 25 miles an hour that takes two and a half hours to charge it for a 30 mile range. Wow, that doesn't seem like a bonus. <laughs> and then Dodge says the 2023 Hornet GT starts for around $29,995 before destination uh, charges, which is which is a bullcrap charge. They shouldn't be charging you to bring it from the factory to the dealership. Um, but that's my opinion. Uh, and the uh, the RT is starts at $39,995. Why charge a destination fee? You're going to bring it to the dealership anyhow. Why are you charging that extra fee? All right, that was my video uh, about the car. I do like the style of it. I, you know, even though everything's an SUV, it just looks like um, a jacked up neon to me from back in the day. Anyhow, so uh, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, share it, when we get to a thousand, I'm gonna start a giveaway. All right, and I'm gonna start giving away cool stuff. And you don't have to buy stuff if you don't want to, no big deal. 
I don't even have a merch store. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Give me your true feedback. Kill me in the comments if you need to. Later.